DJ Nick, DJ Nick. You'll like the video within 5 seconds or you're gonna airball a wide open shot with your takeover. I would not risk it. I'm about to give you a Russell Westbrook type build that can get contact dunks, get 99 speed and 99 vertical, can shoot a little bit, can speed boost, can play defense and rebound. This build is all around. So make sure you get this video to 50 likes and hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications. We are on the road to 5 Okay, so help your boy out and let's get into the video. Look at the sauce I put him through. I don't even have max badges on any category. But look at the crossover for the baseline windmill jam. This guy wants to sit paint. That's no problem. Contact dunk nuts in his face. You hate to see it. He wants to sit paint again. This time I'm just going to shoot a nice little green three. This jump shot is in my top three jump shot videos. So make sure you check that out. Baseline dunk. And another baseline dunk. Kind of a poster. Kind of a contact. But not really. Just look at him. He's too fast. If you press him, I'm going to get right by him. Look. Him with a crossover. And I dunk on both of them. This build is insane. You already know we got the defense. Make him pick up his dribble. He's going to have to take a terrible shot. By the way, I didn't lose a single game on this one-on-one -on -one event with this guy that doesn't even have max badges. Look at him. Just five shooting badges. Five shooting badges. And I am greeting like crazy. And you already know the defense. I get the steal. And I'm going to green another three. Nothing he could do. Look, these guys, they're running two centers. It's toxic. I had to get in my bag. I'm too quick for a center. He can't stay in front of me. But if he plays too far back, you know what's going to happen, right? You know what's going to happen. Green Cashola, baby. The cha-ching from deep. Look at the green again. Stop sagging. Stop sagging the disrespect. And I'm just showing that just to show that I won the game. Look at this dude pressing up on me. He backs off for just a second. That's all I need. Green. So in order to make this build, you want to make him a point guard. Right or left handed, that's up to you. Jersey number, that's up to you. On the skill breakdown, we are going with the half point making, half defense chart. The one that's half red, half orange, or yellow, however you guys see it. I'm surprised that's not a big argument on Twitter. Now, the physical profile, you see it's this one right here. Half vertical, half speed. At 99, you will have 99 speed and 99 vertical, which is pretty insane if you ask me. Now, for the attributes, you want to max close shot. You want to max driving layup. You want to max driving dunk. You go down to shooting. One of these you want one off. Obviously, you want to max mid-range and three-point shoot. Now, this is up to you. I'm going to max the free throw, and I'm going to put the post fade one off. You see, we still get the 10 shooting badges, which is the most you can get on this build. And that's all you need, honestly. Hell, if you feel really good about your shot, you can even go less than that if you want. But that, this is how I did it. Pass accuracy, we are actually going to have this one off and ball handling will be maxed. We're not going to touch post moves. You can do that if you want, but we want to get some defense on this build. 20 playmaking badges, that's good enough for me. Interior defense, we're not going to move that up. You're going to get good defenses, good contests on people's interior shots regardless. In centers, you're going to get bullied regardless. You got to pull the chair and all that stuff, but that's a whole nother topic. Perimeter defense, max that out. Lateral quickness, max that out. Defensive rebound, we're going to max that out. And the rest, we're going to put all on the steal. And we are going to get 20 defensive badges, 20 playmaking badges, 10 shooting badges, 11 finishing badges, fast hops. It's a pretty well-rounded build. Very Russell Westbrook-like. Obviously, he would have higher offensive rebound. But we can't make him exactly like Russ. Russ would have higher post moves. He's got a little post fade in his game and all that. But you only have so 
many attributes to work with. So moving on, I went with, I think I went with Defined. I want to say Defined. We're going to make him 6'5". I believe I made him the lowest weight in the wingspan. I made him the second lowest. Now TakeOver, this is completely up to you. Playmaker, ankle breakers, you know, they don't work quite as much as you would want them to. But your best chances of breaking ankles is with this TakeOver. So if you want ankle breakers, pick this one. And not even just ankle breakers, but having Playmaker TakeOver is like having Dimer on Platinum. If you are a team player, you're a willing passer, you know you're going to pass to your spot up a lot. This is a great TakeOver to have. And if you want to play for the win... This is a great takeover to have. This ain't just for highlights. Now, Slasher Takeover. This is probably the best and least skillful one. All you gotta do is just run the paint. You get the blow by. And you're gonna get contact dunks at all times. I mean, that's a good one. Lockdown Takeover. I don't think I really have to say much about it. This takeover is pretty crazy too. Once again, it's up to you. Now, Shot Creator, I don't recommend fading on this build. You're not going to make fades consistently regardless. I do not recommend Shot Creator Takeover. But, if you feel like you can go crazy with it, by all means. But, I want a Playmaker Takeover, and here's why. I'm already at 2 I got 20 defensive badges. I mean... Do I really need it? I mean, sure, it'll help a lot. It's going to enhance my abilities, but I feel like I can do without it. Slashing takeover. I get contact dunks regardless, so I don't feel a need to put that on. I already explained shot creator. Playmaker, I want to try and break angles a little more. And like I said, it's like having dimer on platinum. And plus, if you have dimer on already along the floor general, their green window is gigantic. If they miss with all of that then you need to drop them and find a new spot up. So we're going with Playmaker Takeover and look. Look at the first name. It says you have made a player similar to Russell Westbrook, two-way slash and playmaker. That's pretty much what Russ is. This is the closest thing to Russell Westbrook you can make. Now, I know a lot of you analytics nerds will say, oh, he doesn't play defense, the stats prove it. He doesn't try on defense because, you know, he uses a lot of that energy on offense. And, you know, he's very valuable to the team. He doesn't want to get himself in foul trouble. But Westbrook has shown time and time again, whenever he chooses to be a great defender, he could be a great defender. I do wish he would play defense a little more. So if you want to know the badges that I am running on this build, these are the badges that I am running on this build. Well, I don't have all my badges yet, but when I do have max badges, these will be the badges that I choose. If you want me to go more in depth on these badges, like the best badges for a two-way slashing playmaker or something along those lines, please let me know in the comments and I will go more in depth on why I have the badges that I have on. Now, I will say that on the playmaking badges and the defensive badges, it's gonna change from time to time. It's gonna depend on who I'm running with. For example, Dimer, if I'm running with lower rating shooting builds, like another two-way slash and playmaker, or an inside, then I'll put my Dimer a little higher. That way, they have a better chance of making threes. I mean, there are some insides that can make corner threes if they, you know, can time that shot. Uh, defensive badges, this is going to change depending on whether or not um, I'm running threes or twos. So, yeah. Let me know if you want a more in-depth video on the badges that I am running. So I hope you guys enjoyed this build video. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications. We are on the road to 5k. I mean, just the sound of it. 5k. And turn on those post bell notifications once again. Make sure you click a video on the end screen. Check out more of my content, whether it's a tutorial or creative content. So I'll either see you there or the next video. But I'm out. Peace.